At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency how well my automated trading systems are performing. Are they making money or are they losing money? My name is Jacob Amaral. I build, code, and trade automated trading systems on the futures market to make a capital return for myself. If you want to learn more about automated trading and trading bots, see the links in the description below. And without further ado, let's get started on May 2024. So May 2024, for the month, I ended up up $15,027, about a 3.4% return on investment from my automated trading systems. Uh, this is a real money live account. All right, we had a uh, we had 183 total trades, 53% win rate, uh, average trade we made 0.02%, uh, average trades per day 8.55. So obviously you can pause this if you wanna see some stats. Um, we can see that most, all the gains were from the long side. Uh, you know, we made 4.64% from the long side and lost 1.18% for the short side. Um, so overall, pretty good month. Uh, for the month, I did underperform the market. The market for the month, depending on what indices you look at, um, NASDAQ uh, went up 5.8% for the month of May. Uh, let's look at S&P. S&P went up 4.5% for the month as well. So it was a very big uh, bullish month. So yeah, a very bullish month for the month of May. I mean, you know, to see four or 5% from um, S&P and NASDAQ respectively um, is a good sight to see. You know, I was able to follow that, get most of the gains, not all of it, unfortunately, but was able to to get most of it and, you know, you know, be able to end the month green, which I like. Uh, so, so far I'm in a, I think a three month win streak. Uh, my last loss was February, March was uh, decent and April was pretty much break even. Uh, but so far three months um, in the green, excited for the summer. A lot of people say that there's a summer slowdown uh, with trading and I sort of disagree. I mean, last year I had a, a great summer, a great run. Uh, depends obviously what market you're in. It, it could be slow, but as far as seasonality with the stock indices, it's really hard to tell. I mean, it's it's there's a lot of new factors with election year this year, and just th there's a lot going on, and I don't see much seasonality where it shows that the volatility is decreasing um, in the summer. So excited to see that. Uh, I'm trading more strategies now. I'm trading 37 strategies uh, as of today, where I was uh, for the month of most of April, I was trading anywhere from 10 to 18. So I've added a lot. Uh, I've added a lot more strategies to my portfolio, and I'm actually trading less contracts. Um, I want to be. I was just getting so much slippage with the contracts I was trading with. Um, I wanted to kind of be more hidden and trade less contracts, but more systems. So now that I have more systems in the race, if you will, uh, I'm more dispersed in my trades, and I'm kind of hidden a lot more from potential slippage. The more contracts you trade, obviously, the more slippage you're going to get because you're going to move the market a bit much. And when it comes to futures, um, once you start trading above 10, 20 contracts, um, you're going to experience, you know, points of slippage where you're getting one or two points of slippage just from the size that you're doing. If you look at the order book for, um, you know, NQ and ES futures, most of the tri uh, most of the time, every tick, you're only getting one, two, maybe three contracts being traded. So once you're trading, you know, 10, 20 contracts, you're really moving a, a lot more. So I've sized down my contracts quite a bit to under 10 now and have more systems. And, um, you know, so far in June, it's, it's worked out very, very well uh, as well. And we'll continue this game of, you know, outperforming the market, making returns for myself and using automated systems uh, to do that, um, which, you know, I love doing day in and day out. I'm not going to have as much bigger, as much big winners as I had back in January when I had that 25% day. Uh, but I am more confident with this portfolio because of having more diversification with more trading systems and dispersing my trades throughout the day a little bit better. Um, so I'm more confident in that and that's gonna help me stick with my model uh, as well. So anyways, that's the video guys. Hope you found value in this May recap video. Let me know if you did in the comments below. And once again, if you wanna learn more about automated trading and trading systems, see the links in the description below. I think they could help you a lot. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye guys.